Bojangles? Yes, I really can get someplace other than McDonald's, I promise. I love food. Thank God, everyone does. Everyone? I think so. I think it's pretty safe to say everyone loves food. I also love food. Some people love food to the point of watching people eat food on TV. Welcome. Or on your phone. Sure, let's eat lunch together. What are you having? Unsweet tea. Why? Oh, it tastes old. This is not the good side of town. So some McDonald's and some Bojangles have good tea and some have shitty tea. What's the difference? The people who don't clean their tea tanks properly and change out the filters. What? You have to have a perfectly clean tea tank. Mmm. Bojangles french fries. They're so salty. They're so good. I would like slightly less salt, but... They're so good, I try not to complain. Mmm. This was a nice treat when I moved to the south. Now, non-southerners don't have a taste for Bojangles. I may not prefer it, but southerners love Bojangles. Mmm. Pimento cheese sandwich with pickles. That's what you should be ordering. It's a Cajun filet biscuit. So the chicken is crunchy and delicious and good and flavorful and just a tiny bit spicy. And the pimento cheese is delicious. It's 89 cents. You can add it to anything. I recommend it on anything. And pickles, of course. You can just add pickles to anything. Uh, maybe not anything, but definitely sandwiches. I think the key to a lot of good sandwiches is the perfect cheese for the sandwich. And pimento cheese is wildly underrated. My mom doesn't like pimento cheese. I find it so weird. Mm. so good. Do you like the windshield wiper sound? Mmm. It's really good. I can see how Bojangles became a chain because it is a delicious recipe. <laughs> their Cajun filet chicken. Mm. And their french fries. I like eating super salty chips that are perfectly seasoned. In fact, they should make chips. We sell them at the store. Covered in Bojangles seasoning. Mm -hmm. It's a special seasoning salt blend. It's really good. I have no idea if it has MSG in it. If it does, that would explain why it's so delicious. Look it up.
If you love Chick-fil-A because you love the pickles, you will love Bojangles. Cajun filet. The added pickles. Added pimento is even better. Delicious pimento cheese is so good. As much as I want to be a health nut, I really do love some fast food and tons of unhealthy food. We need more exercise facilities around America. Everyone needs to be exercising more. How do we actually encourage that? Well, an FDR style presidency with lots of building projects. Lots of building projects across America? Yes. How many? Dobbs, we need it. school improvements everywhere. How do you know? I've been to the American public school system. Some of them are awesome. And some of them are less awesome. It shouldn't be so unfair. What? Some people have good school systems. Yeah. Even good sy school systems need improvements. Mm-hmm. To improve all schools? Mm-hmm. Literally? Mm-hmm. That's a lot of change you're suggesting. Mm-hmm. Why would you think the country needs to change that much? Do you not love the country? No, I do love the country. Why? Why would you want it to change so much? To improve education? Why? Because it's just not accurate enough. The history lessons? Yeah. And it's not devoted to being Tiger Mom-ish enough. For absolutely everyone? Mm-mm. Our dogs and kids that should have a tiger mom. And don't? Yeah. Why? Because it's not cool oh, to be a tiger mom. It's not. Why not? random tear. Why do you cry? Oh, I cry all the time. Why? Um, I just get emotional. I miss my kids. Do so you just randomly cry? Actually, yes. What? I know, right? We just need... A lot better for a lot more people in this country and we need as many people and as as possible saying that like a choir of people saying let's improve the country let's improve the country let's it's time to improve the country how by improving hearts and minds how are you gonna improve hearts and minds without being a colonialist and who are you gonna leave in charge so we need more leaders in America but we also need a leaderless movement towards just improving people's mindsets in the country so how do you think like a sociologist and a linguist at the same time? Every day of my life. Why? Why? Because I prayed for the world to be a better place. Why? Because that's what I want for the world. Why? Better food for everyone? better motherhood experiences for everyone yes i want better mom experiences for everyone <coughs> i 
And dad experiences? Yes. So we need to build more like field trippy kind of places for people to go through and get pe more people more leisure time in their lives? Yes. And what else? Better education? You can't be a tiger mom and want more leisure time for people. You're right. I am an idealist. But I think we have to think about the future of the country. Like, how much leisure do people want to experience in the future? How much people leisure do people want to experience now? Jobs. That's how life is. People want more money so they can experience more leisure and downtime. So we need to get more leisure time and downtime and fun experiences to the working class? Yes. Why? Don't sound like a white supremacist if you wouldn't, please. What, is that an actual problem you encounter on a regular basis? Mm-hmm. But people don't recognize it? Well, I'm a content creator and I speak out online. Mm-hmm. YouTube deletes a lot of racist comments before they make it to the internet. It doesn't mean that that's not how people feel still. Alright. This sort of took a weird turn. I'm sorry. Welcome to my channel. I'm a fucking weird person.